Alabama Business License. Once you are an AL resident and decide to set up a firm, it may be very exciting. For this purpose, you need nothing but a successfully passed licensure process to conduct it legally. You do not need much research for going through the process. Just stay on this page and hunt for all the answers to your questions about the Alabama business license. How do I register my company in AL? Every businessman knows the whole difficulties when setting up a company. But as a beginner in this field, you also need to imagine everything in advance. Before starting registration, you are to take into deep consideration several points. First, you should decide what firm you would like to start. For this purpose, you should do deep research on the market, decide on your financing, plan for operations, and finally make a working plan. Once you made a good work plan, it is time to decide on its structure. Below you may find out some entity structures. That is to say, you are to choose to register as a Corporation LLC Limited Liability Company GP General Partnership LP Limited Partnership. LLP Limited Liability Partnership LLP Limited Liability Limited Partnership Sole Proprietorship. According to these, you should file different forms of certificates with the Secretary of State's office. Then, it is time to select a registered agent to process official mail on your firm's behalf. In addition, every entity must have a registered agent. Determine your entity type once you register your firm, you are to decide if it is domestic or foreign. A domestic one is recorded in AL, whereas a foreign one is formed outside of the state. Required fees The filing fees are different. You are to pay $150 filing fee for incorporation $200 filing fee domestic corporation Additionally, you should also pay different taxes, after all, you are to gain a fine. All sorts of affairs must get this number. It serves banking and tax purposes. You may apply for your fine by mail, fax, and online. Register a company name. Once you have successfully passed through the above-mentioned steps, it is time to choose a unique organization name. It must be distinguishable from any other startup name in the state. Note, if you have late documentation problems, you may reserve a startup name by paying $25 to Alabama Business License Requirement. you cannot set up a firm without having legal authorization. The procedure differs depending on several factors. Your startup position, the industry services and goods offered by your company there is not a general license to fit all the legal entities of the state. Furthermore, there are some that are only designed for specific activities. So, you need to be very diligent and do deep research to see which one is specific to your county or city. Steps for getting an AL business license These steps will walk you through the process. First, obtain a permit to do your business. It can be valid for a year, particularly from October 1st to September 30th. Secondly, you need to what other requirements there are. For example, if your company is going to sell goods, then you must get a store license. Your third step is to obtain applicable, federal certificates for your AL firm. There is a set of federal government regulatory agencies, which issue permits according to your activity. Lastly, you should check the process details with the local authorities. Once you comply with the points mentioned above, you will be issued a code compliance certificate. Nowadays every business owner has to provide legal documentation for one's activity. So, before you open up any company, make sure you have learned everything about limited liability companies. Associated costs. It may cost you from $150 to several hundred dollars. It is based on your local county requirements, activity type, etc.